Hello again, this is Robert V. Chair. This is my video review of the model 882D from a company called NOEVSBIG. And this is their 2-in-1 soldering iron station. The soldering iron is 60 watts and includes a hot air rework station, which is, goes up to 750 watts. You have a choice of Fahrenheit or Celsius, so it has a real-time display, which is really unique. Which means that it's monitoring the actual voltage or the actual temperature on the tips of the soldering iron and the heat gun. It also has a sleep function. This automatically will shut off when you put this in once it cools down a little bit. It's really nice. This company provides a two-year warranty and after sales, lifetime technical support and a 45-day return. It also comes with a really nicely written instruction manual that really details everything and another manual that has all kinds of safety information about using anything that generates heat. So I was impressed by the manual itself, it's really well written. Then you can see it has, in this kit, it has the soldering iron right there and the soldering iron ring holder, which is gonna be mounted here. We're gonna show how soldering iron goes right there. And we're gonna show all these controls, how to work with them. This is the heat gun that comes on and off automatically fits right in the cradle right there comes with a nice suction tool which you know how great that is to remove blobs of solder on things and it has this packet that has five additional heads and solder and two grabbing uh, tweezer like tools which are really handy this has a US grounded plug on there and a real flexible cable about five feet long then you also notice that for the heat gun portion, it has this holder that has some 3M tape on there. We're going to put that right up on top there. Then it has the three different tips on there that are all different sizes. And it came with the hardware, the nuts and bolts to tighten that down so that it stays in place on the gun. And you see there are different sizes, the three different port sizes. So when you go with the smaller port, the velocity increases and the bigger port the velocity decreases or if you don't want to use anything you can use it as is and then it'll have the input port right there set up where it'll blow the hot air right out of there just like that so first thing i'm going to do is on the bottom right hand side there is a slot that you can put this in and you just push that down like that and it locks it in place and that's the first thing you want to do and that's going to hold your soldering gun on there and we're going to put the soldering gun we're going to line it up you see it's got a pattern on there and a little notch you want to line up that notch with the notch on this then you turn the knurled nut right there and that locks it in place I'm going to take the holder which holds the heat gun and peel back the 3M and I'm going to place this on the top right here lined up just do it by eye and push down real hard and it holds it right in place like that and one of the nice things about this is you could uh, change the temperature display uh, based on what you're familiar with centigrade or Fahrenheit so right now it's on Fahrenheit. If I want to go to centigrade, you hit the iron minus and the hot air plus together. And now it went to centigrade. You see it dropped down to 200. And we go right back to Fahrenheit, whatever you're more comfortable with. Now when you first power this on, you have a brand new tip of any kind. The manual does recommend, it says here that you start off at 482 degrees Fahrenheit and you melt some of the solder there. Now, if you look closely at the display here, I've set to 500 degrees, raised a little higher. There's a little blinking LED over there. And what this does is it seeks that temperature and you see that it's blinking. So it's actually pulsing energy to it to maintain that temperature. So anytime you change, here I'm going to increase it up. It's how it's blinking because what it's doing, it's trying to reach that temperature. And now it's going to slowly raise it and monitor it. And then you can see that little status thing right there that starts to blink and it'll be blinking during normal operation so this tip right here 
I did add some solder to it. You can see right there it's melting the solder. So depending on your application, you're going to be able to control that very accurately, the temperature. Now let's demonstrate the heat gun. You notice that there is a regulation knob right there, which regulates the, the amount of air. So I can lower this down to a really low speed. And there's the temperature right there. And it has that little LED on the right also. When it reaches the temperature, you'll start seeing that blink. So right now we reach 867 degrees and that is the temperature coming out of this. Now I could increase it by going clockwise. And notice how quiet it is. It sounds like there's a brushless motor in there. It's very quiet. So you can get any speed control you want right there at any given temperature. So I can just drop this temperature down like that and make it even lower and then control the speed whatever I want. Really nice. And then in terms of putting it back in the unit, you put it back like that and make sure that you pull it back into the holder and that it senses it. And what it's doing is cooling that head down before it shuts it off, which is smart. So on the back of the unit is where the main power switch is. As you could turn it on and off right there. And you could leave this on because you could use those front controls to control it and turn it on and off. Now during operation, it's automatic when you remove this, but if you want to shut off the iron or the blower temporarily, while well, you have this plugged in, you just hit both buttons at the same time, and you'll see it, you just get a blank display right there, and it's in a wait state. And all you do is hit those buttons again, and it turns it back on. Now the soldering iron is on, and the air gun the heat gun is on also. So that's a nice feature. You can easily just turn it off and then not worry about it coming on until you re-engage it with those buttons. Now I'm going to go over some more of the specifications and what's unique about this product. This soldering station has the 750 watt heat gun and the 60 watt soldering iron as I mentioned and, and it has a uh, target and actual temperature display with handle induction system, automatic cooling, automatic constant temperature. It complies with the UL standard, which is the US standard. That's important for any electronic components, so you don't really have to worry about a fire hazard. Now this is a precision tool. The solder station and the hot air rework station have a high precision PID temperature st stabilization function to keep them at the set temperature. That means that there's a, a device inside the tip of each one of these that sends feedback to this device so that the temperature control is accurate. Typically something like this is accurate within a couple degrees Fahrenheit. And that's, that's really nice because that's how you'd be able to accurately heat things up and solder components. There's also a lot of protection circuitry in here. It has uh, fault detection and automatic shutdown functions, overheating sensors, short circuit, open circuit, overload fault sensors, and automatic protection. And then right on the display, they'll have an HE or SE, and the manual itself actually defines all of those errors on here that you could actually figure out what's going on. Of course, the company does help you. You can contact them on Amazon messaging system. So here's just an example. What's nice about a soldering iron like this with an accurate temperature is I can raise the temperature to a higher temperature so that it can have more heat dissipation on larger circuit boards. And that's important so that you get the right amount of heat for soldering something. And then you can see it just quickly melts those connections perfectly. And I could add more solder to them if I want to. Now I can lower this back down and wait for it to stabilize. And now I can work on something that is much more precision and smaller. Because of this smaller tip on here, you can get at much, much smaller solder sections right there. You could even solder some of these tiny components right here or replace these little, little resistors on this board. And the reason is that because that tip is pointed, 
you can do some really good detail work with it. And that's what's nice about the temperature control because you can lower it down and get it whatever you need for the given application. Let me show you a trick that I learned from a contractor that was putting in a water heater for me. A lot of times you go to solder these connections and you put a little flux on there and then you heat them up and then they get oxidized and sometimes you can't get the connection. So what you do is you take the heat gun here and you heat up that connection and you put it on the highest setting and then you go after you see it sizzling your solder on there your flux and then you go with your torch and you do your soldering and what that will do is that prevent all that extra oxidation from the flame that's just a real nice tip anytime you'd be soldering copper pipe now the number one use for this hot air gun is when you're soldering connections and you have heat shrink tubing. So here's some heat shrink tubing. And I've seen a lot of people use matchsticks. And you don't want to do that. Matchsticks just produces some black oxidation. You just want to use a tool like this so you have a professional job done. And just rotate it. And you see how evenly it heat shrinks that right on. So you have a professional connection on there that's going to protect that connection for years to come. Really nice. Another application is sometimes you have PVC or plastic and what's interesting you could use something like a soda bottle and when you heat that up it actually shrinks around anything you want to form a pattern. But a lot of times you have something like PVC and you want to conform it or you want to expand it. So you can use the heat gun to heat just like this, the whole inside. And again, it's got that really good temperature control. I can see it's already deforming and I could just basically make any shape I want on that. Now it's real hot, but the idea is that you could hold this in place and you could conform it to any shape you want. Or you could just expand it. And that's what's nice, the accuracy of the temperature control on here, you can get it to be the right temperature where it just starts to melt it and doesn't over melt it or burn it. And that's really handy when you're doing something like this. Well, after testing this product, what do I think about the NOEV SBIG brand, their model 882D, their 2-in-1 soldering iron station and hot air rework gun. This is a cool product. With the extra tips on there and the tools they include in the solder and the accuracy that this thing is showing, the simplicity of its use and all the different heads and, and the way this is so organized and so functional, I'm just going to give this product a full five-star rating. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you alert to new video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. I hope the information I presented helps you with all your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.